What is up, YouTube? I told you it was coming sooner or later, and you just didn't want to believe me. Well, our boy Luca has done it. He's finally released that first release for the public. He's calling it a public beta release one. Not really referring to it as the gamma, but guess what? You can jailbreak your device today, today guys, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, I have already gone ahead and made this video, so I know what's going to happen, so I'm going to sort of prepare you for it. I have the iPhone 6. I am getting a new iPhone 7 tomorrow. He was one freaking day early. Can you believe that? But the iPhone 7 isn't supposed to be compatible yet anyway. And that brings me to some more news, but we'll get to that in a second. My iPhone 6 did not jailbreak properly. However, that will not have any effect on you because every single step of this jailbreak is exactly the same except the last part where I open my springboard up after I run the jailbreak and it's not city is not there. That doesn't mean the jailbreak wasn't performed properly. It only means that my device isn't supported just yet. Now, that's not a big deal because everything went pretty smooth, all except the city icon didn't appear on the screen. So I'm sure he'll work that out. And the other news I, were, that was, the other news I was going to uh, refer to earlier, uh, he said he would add more devices to this jailbreak by the weekend. Well, today, today's Thursday, guys. That's only one day, so just hold on just a little bit. And then one more reminder, don't be spamming that guy's Twitter. Give him a break, guys. Let him do his job. He's already producing, so let's let him just sit back, enjoy himself, and, and, and not give him no problems from our side. All right? So hope you enjoyed the jailbreak. Let me know what you think after you watch it. Don't forget that if you aren't a subscriber, we'd love to have you here. And I told you I'd get out of bed and, and put it up and let me show you before I go exactly what I'm wearing. Hopefully you can see that. My jammies. I told you guys I would get out of bed and put this jailbreak up. That's exactly what I did. Hope you enjoy it, guys. Don't forget, as always, if you aren't a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Enjoy right, the Guys, video. we're going to try to jailbreak our device, and I'm going to walk you through some of the steps uh, that you need. Of course, that's very important to doing this the proper way. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to back our device up. And not every device is supported in this jailbreak, guys. It is still in early stages. And Luca has also given us a strong hint that there will be more devices added by the weekend. And that's not very long away. So if you want to wait, I would suggest waiting, but that's up to you. But uh, I feel like it's now stable enough for us to give it a whirl. So the, like I said, the first thing we're going to do is going to go in here and make a backup of our current device. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to hit the little backup button. We're going to plug our device in using a USB cable. Open up iTunes. Go into iTunes. Click the little backup now button. Let iTunes do its thing. And we are then going to go on through the process. Also, guys, something else very important that you need to make sure you do is turn off any passcodes or any kind of locks you may have on your device. Uh, just in case something happens and you do need to restore, you can get in there and do that without any problem. So, now you're going to need a couple of different items. First, you're going to need your Mac portal download, and that's going to be an IPA file. And of course, you're going to need the Yalo 102 Alpha Jailbreak IPA file. Both those links will be in the description below, and you can find that, plus a tutorial to follow along with on iPhoneCaptain.com. All those links will be in the description below, so you should be able to follow along with what, what I'm doing right here. Downloaded the appropriate files. You need to open up Cydia Impactor and run the DMG file. And when you do that, you'll get this little pop-up right here. And you just lift and drag it over in here. Release it. And you see I've already done so. So I'm going to just tell it to stop. And once you have done that then you can just double click right here to open up the actual Cydia Impactor. 
what you want to do is you want to drag and drop the actual uh, Yalu Alpha file that you just downloaded earlier over into Box and City of Impactor, and you're going to get an actual iTunes pop up uh, box that says this can be your iTunes email login. So I'm going to actually use my login information here. And right after you enter your Apple password, what it's going to do is going to actually add an icon to your device. So I didn't really show that really well in the video, but I wanted to let you know that's what's going on. So the next step you'll see we're over on the device looking at an icon on our screen. Okay, uh, now what it's done, guys, is it's put a Yalu uh, icon on my actual device. Okay, guys, now you can see here on the screen I've got the little Yalu 10.2 icon added to my device now. Uh, now let's keep in mind that the actual iPhone 6 has not actually been stated to be compatible just yet so I'm actually pushing the envelope just a little bit here uh, and as you can see it says your device management uh, settings do not allow using apps from this developer uh, we need to go into our uh, settings and and and, and uh, allow this so you know we're going to actually be doing what's called side loading here we're going to go into our profile and, you know, if I hadn't already known a little bit about side loading, I wouldn't know how to do this. But we're going to go to settings, and then we're going to go to general. And we're going to scroll down here where it says device management and uh, profiles. And right here, we have a new one from Yalo that's not been trusted. And we're going to go ahead and tap trust right here. And you have to tap trust again. Now, this is how you install all your hacks that you see me do on the uh, actual channel here as well. And now you see we get the verified. So we're going back out of here, go back out to settings, and go back now and try to open Mr. Luca Tedesco's 10 2 jailbreak on the unsupported iPhone 6 to see what happens. It may do it, it may not, guys. We're just going to go ahead and see what it does. We're going to hit OK. We're going to let it do its thing right here. Whatever it's wanting to do, we tap Go. All right, so, guys. Uh, we just want to let you know, right after you touch Go on this jailbreak uh, and it reboots, if it did what it was supposed to do, which is jailbreak your device, you should be jailbroken. You should have City on there. You should be able to open it up load it up and download tweaks so i didn't really show that really well in the video because my device wasn't supported cydia didn't appear on my screen so i didn't show it and i didn't do a real good job letting you all know exactly what happened so i wanted to throw this back in here and make sure i, I touch base with it hope you enjoy the jailbreak